Hi, and welcome back to day three of the 12 Flows of Christmas. Our goal is to make your movement healthier and more effortless. And today we're going to talk about feet. And remember, with all these videos I'm doing, we're doing one every day for 12 days. Tag two friends and you can get anything off of my store. We're going to select one winner from each video. The feet are massively important. You stand on them all day. They give you most of your information about your surroundings in the world. They basically, all your bones, and you have like a quarter of the bones in your entire body, in your feet and ankles only, all those bones need to articulate or move around to let your brain know what the terrain is like. This is really important so you don't tip over and fall. So your feet can be extremely sensitive to the environment and they should be. And the more clear their picture of the ground is, the more stable your foundation will be. Um, there's something, uh, there's a saying I always like to use, it's that uh, you age from the roots up. And what that means is essentially that your feet are the roots that keep you anchored onto the ground. And if your feet start to deteriorate, it can really age you very quickly because you'll start stepping more gingerly, the rest of the muscle in your legs will start to deteriorate, and your overall mobility, your ability to run or your ability to move at all, is going to be significantly hindered. So it's very important to look at the feet. First thing you want to do, if you're able to, is get your hands on your feet. We talked about how magical these are already. Joining these two things together for a couple minutes can work absolute wonders for your hips, feet, and for your hands. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to start working in between the toes. And you're gonna try to get as many fingers in there as you possibly can. You may not be able to get all of them in there at first. So even if you just have to get the last two, middle two, and then these two, separately and essentially what you're doing is you're just trying to uh, disassociate those toes from each other once again you know they're they're independent for a reason otherwise we just have flippers so we want to make sure that they can work independently so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingers and grab our toes and we're gonna do some toe curls and I want you to pay attention to how well your toes can put pressure into your hands. You know, people are always looking for a gym, like, oh, I gotta get to the gym to do my workout. You pretty much have the gym everywhere if you can be a little bit creative, and I'll continue to talk about that concept more through these videos. But your hands can create plenty of force to get 20 or so good repetitions of toe curls. And you can actually go both ways. So now I'm resisting, I'm pushing inward, and I'm pushing outward with my toes. So I'm working more on the extensor side, or the top side. And my toes are getting nice and awake. You can also give them a little massage, squeeze from the outsides inward, and then just work that instep with your thumbs. And uh, this is really just a great practical skill because foot rubs feel awesome. So you can give yourself a foot rub every day. It will make your hands stronger. And um, I'm pretty sure that other people also love foot rubs. So if you want to get on someone's good side, a foot rub I think can go a really long way. So uh, pay attention to the Achilles tendon and the heels as well. And you're going to have to just use whatever position is comfortable to do that. Some of you may find that working one at a time is a little bit better, but don't be afraid to spend a little bit of time down here. Um, once you get that all dialed, we're actually going to get up to a standing position and we're going to use this towel. And what we're going to do with this towel is a couple things. First thing I want you to do is spread out your feet and we're going to curl inward. So we're like trying to grab the towel inward. And we can do a couple things from here. We can squeeze the towel in and out. So we're going to start working a lot of those foot muscles. And the towel is going to give you some resistance, depending on whatever floor surface you're on for this exercise. After that, you're going to come off the towel. You're going to grab the towel with your toes, pass it to your opposite hand behind you. The reason this is so important is by bringing it across behind your body, you're actually going to train some of your calf muscles in a different way because of the angle of your foot. Rather than it being down here, having it go up like that is going to engage that entire posterior side of the hamstring calf all the way through to the foot. So we're going to do that on both sides with as good a balance as possible. A good rule of thumb is to do 30 seconds per foot and just pass it from one side to the other, trying to grab it with your toes this way as opposed to 
this way. Don't, uh, don't chopstick it. Try to grab it with the full toes. All right. After that, we're going to uh, keep it really simple. We're going to take the towel, which I think pretty much everybody has one of these, and we're going to roll it into a little makeshift balance beam. And we're just going to stand on the edge of it so that our heels are entirely off the ground. And by doing this, you're going to essentially force yourself to continuously be rebalancing through the air by changing your base of support. If you want to really turn this into high gear, just close your eyes and you'll feel yourself starting to move more, which is going to increase the demand of your feet. So by taking away one system of information gathering your vision, it's going to force the other systems, proprioception and vestibular system to kick into high gear. So just these couple things can do absolute wonders for waking up your feet. This is going to make you stronger in all your lifts. It's going to make you healthier. And uh, I think this would be beneficial for absolutely anybody. So tag two friends and stay tuned for the next video tomorrow. Mm -hmm.